Let's solve some math problems here to prepare for the CFAT test. If a child can run 10 meters while a car travels 30 meters, how many meters can the child run while the car travels 66 meters? Now to solve this, we can use ratios. So it says here, if a child can run 10 meters, a car travels 30 meters. So that is 10 meters is to 30 meters. This is for the child, and then this is for the car. How many meters can the child run while the car travels 66 meters? So we let x be um, the distance the child can run while the car travels 66 meters. So that is x is to 66 meters. Then we can write this as 10 is to 30 equals x is to 66 and then we can cross multiply so this is 10 times 66 equals 30 times x and then we divide both sides by 30 to solve for x so x here is just equal to 660 over 30 therefore x is just equal to 22 meters so this is our answer here okay let's solve another problem okay. Scott is saving for a Christmas present for his wife he wants to buy a ring that costs $1,000 he saves 5% of his weekly pay which is $960 how many weeks will he have to save money before he can buy the ring now to solve this problem we have to know the given uh, what what uh, the, uh, are the given in the problem and what are asked so we're given that scott's pay weekly pay is 960 dollars And then the cost of the ring is $1,000. It says here that it saves 5% of his weekly pay. So that is 5% of his weekly pay, which is $960. Okay. Um, we can write 5% as... 5 over 100 or this is just 0 0.05 and 960 dollars times 0 0.05 is just 48 dollars so he saves um for 48 dollars every week from his weekly pay which is 960 dollars now the question is how many weeks will he have to save money before he can buy the ring which costs one thousand dollars so we need to divide one thousand dollars by 48 dollars so that would be um one thousand dollars divided by Forty-eight dollars per week. So this is just equivalent to twenty point eight weeks. There is no twenty point eight here, so we can just round this off to approximately twenty-one weeks. So he needs to save forty-eight dollars for 21 weeks to save a total of $1,000. So this is our answer here. Solve another problem. Which number comes next in the following series? 
9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Okay, in series and sequences, um, let's take a look at the common difference first. So the difference between 9, 12, 15, and 12 and 15, 15 and 18, and 18 and 21 is 3. Therefore, the difference between number 21 and the next number here should also be 3. So all we have to do is we add 3 to 21 to get the next number. So that would be equal to 24. So this is our answer here. Okay. At a bakery, it takes three people 18 minutes to de decorate 15 cupcakes. How many cupcakes can six people complete in one hour? So we're given here that for three people, it will take them um, 18 minutes to decorate 15 cupcakes so that means um, one person can decorate five cupcakes in 18 minutes we, we can divide 15 uh, by three so that means one person can decorate five cupcakes in 18 minutes okay now the question is how many cupcakes can six people complete in one hour so one hour has 60 minutes or there's 60 minutes in one hour we just have to divide um, six, the number of cupcakes for one person to complete uh, decorating in one hour by using the ratios. So for one person here, um, can decorate five cupcakes in 18 minutes. Now we don't know how many cupcakes can one person decorate in 60 minutes so let's say it's x and then we can cross multiply so this is just 5 times 60 equals 18 times x that would be 300 equals 18 X and we divide both sides by 18 to solve for X we got 16.67 so one person can decorate 16.67 or this is approximately 17 17 cupcakes in 60 minutes therefore six people for six people we just have to multiply so that would be six times 17 i will just round this off um later for the final answer so this is 16 times 16.67 times 6 this would give us 100.02 um cupcakes for six people or we can round this off to approximately 100 cupcakes so the answer is this one Okay, let's solve another problem here. One half divided by 
zero point zero five. Okay, since you're not allowed to use the calculator, so you can write point zero five as five over one hundred. Then you can write this as one half times you flip the denominator and change the operator sign to multiplication one hundred over five. Then one hundred is divisible by two. This it would be a uh, fifty. So this is just fifty over five, which is just equal to ten. So this is our answer here. Okay, let's solve another problem. At a grocery store, grapes cost thirty cents per ounce. Sheila buys grapes and ends up paying three point six dollars. How many ounces did she buy? Okay, it's given here that the cost of the grapes is just thirty cents per ounce. And it's also given here that she paid $3.6 for the grapes. Then we just have to divide 3.6 by 0.3. That would be $3.6 divided by 0.3 um, dollar or 30 cents per ounce to solve for the number of ounces she bought for three point six dollars so this would be twelve ounces so this is our answer here okay Find the missing number 17, 12. Um, we're given here this series 17, 12, 5, 3. So we find this number here. Notice here that the sequence is decreasing. And if we're going to subtract the previous number and, and the next number, the pattern appears to be decreasing. It doesn't have a common difference. And it appears here that the pattern is decreasing by subtracting consecutive odd numbers to the previous number in the sequence. So let's try this. So 17, 12, and we don't know this, and then 5, three we're going to subtract seven and twelve the difference would be five we're go going to subtract five and three the difference would be two so that means the difference between five and this number uh, should be three and the difference between twelve and this number should be four so what could this number be we just have to subtract twelve and four so this number should be 8, and 8 minus 5 is 3. So the answer here is 8.